for watching Hal Sparks Mega Worldwide. I'm the only guy doing the whole clip, kids. Doing the whole thing. Sometimes it's painful. Oftentimes with Glenn Beck, it's very painful. You have to do the whole thing, and big chunks of it are boring and annoying, and there's occasionally a funny moment, but for the most part, a uh, bunch of dog shit, just overall. But we weed through it, and we find the you know kernels of comedy where we can. And, uh, you know, we've looked at, we've had Rudy Giuliani give us the political dipshittery of the day. We've looked at, uh, I, I honestly was seeking from Steve Bannon a more sort of tactical dipshittery, and ultimately we didn't get that. We just got him saying revolting a bunch of times because clearly someone pulled the drapes and he saw his own reflection. Um, and now Glenn Beck is going to tell us all how we can prepare eight ways. Ew. Um, eight ways. Why did that, why did that grow? Hold on. Um, shrink down, silly. Eight ways you can prepare for possible Russia-Ukraine outcomes. There it is. Hold on. There it is. Eight ways you can prepare for possible Ukraine outcomes. Uh, from, from a man who I, I guess is, has got does nothing but paint weird pictures of Helena Bonham Carter in his garage um as a as like art therapy um he's also wearing his um his Colonel Sanders plaid today which is fun uh yeah get rid of your russian stock yeah take your money out of rubles that would that would be step 1 i would think oh uh, thank you Aaron let's let's see shall we yeah, buy his survival stuff. Yeah. <laughs> All right, here we go. What do we do? What do we do? Yeah. What do we do? Yeah, what do you do? I mean, there's war. And, you know, I was saying this whole time that it was all bullshit. And and it's all, you know, I know that Putin went on and said he's uh, wants to move in Ukraine because he views it as already part of Russia. And that's clearly not a new idea he's come up with. But I'll pretend it is for the time. But what do you, uh, how are we going to handle it? Uh, you know, I'm going to lay back here. Good Lord. Um, I want you to um, think and, about things this way. Look, there there are so right. many ways. Yeah, that's just, think about it like this. This this whole world can come apart. We are looking at a very, very fragile uh, situation all over. Uh, excuse me. No, it is not fragile. Everything was fine till Biden fucked it up. Have you not been following? Follow the news. Look on Fox News. This is this was Biden's world to b not break. <laughs> The world. It's not just America. This is happening yeah. all over the world. Uh, uh, excuse me. It is just America, and it's all Biden's fault. Pay attention. Stick with it. Get with the program, uh, Captain Howdy. Especially in the West, Th there is a feel. Did, wait, did somebody just yell "Dad" in the background? Is there just a child wandering through his garage? Um, especially in the West. There is a f dad. Dad. Um, okay. We. This is the day we all find out that Glenn Beck has like kids in cages in his fucking garage. Satire. Feeling in me. A friend said to me, "Don't run away from something. Always run towards something." And you'll. Yeah, that's that's great advice. Uh, you know, hurricanes. Um, <laughs> don't run away from something. Run towards something. What kind of something are we talking about? Well, I mean, it's different if it's bears versus tigers. What the fuck? Don't. It's great advice. Don't run away from something. Run towards something. Uh, you know, run towards a chemical fire. It's great. Always, let's just say um, it's raining knives outside and you could run towards a shelter why would you do that? We found when Caden, it's time shit. to uh, to find uh, that thing, or that yeah. thing will appear. Um, yeah, right. So run, don't run away from something. Run towards something because it'll. When in time, that thing that you're running towards or from will appear. And stuff. What the fuck are we listening to? What is happening? How how high is the? Is, all right. I know he's doing the show from his garage. Has a car been running all day? Do you smell burnt toast? The seasons change. He said, watch. Oh my God, shut the fuck up. 
<laughs> you know, there's a time for everything under the sun. For every season, turn, turn, turn. There is a season, turn, turn, turn. For huffing paint, for talking shit, for pulling it out of your ass. The leaves on the trees, and you will oh know God. when the seasons change. I Jesus Christ! What is this? Shut up! <laughs> you know, fucking guys, the day I come on, and this is my idea of programming, send an ambulance. I'm serious. <laughs> the fuck? If I... I can't imagine going on the air, and I, I, I talk... There's some days when I'm talking for a long time, long time, and at no point during the day am I coming in and sitting around the... You know... A friend said that if you see something, say something. And, you know, the time passes because the clock ticks. And as the clock ticks and the leaves fall from the trees, you know that every snowflake... Shut the fuck up! What it? Get to the eight things, asshole! We're running out of time! Tell you that I think we have hit a season change. Um, I've... Jesus Christ! Oh, God. I'm feeling it this last week, week and a half, that something is different, and uh, it's a season change. Something... It, it, when you've been feeling it over the last couple of weeks, it, it, have you felt a lump? Were you feeling it in the shower or in your uh, quiet space? Entering a new phase. Um, so Yes, for the great reset, the new phase. It's all like the fourth re resetting. One of the things that I would suggest you do, some may dismiss. I see, some, I say that again. And change something. We're entering a new phase. Yeah. Um, so some of the things that I would suggest you do, some may dismiss. Yeah, some, some, some things I suggest you do. But I will tell you, you're, we are fighting evil now. We are. And okay. uh, evil is... Are, are they evil leaves or is it an evil something? Now, there's an evil something. Should I run towards the evil something or away from the evil something? It's just rearing up its head and it, it thinks it's going to win. It doesn't know uh, what's coming for it, but it thinks it's going to win. I <laughs> Jesus Christ. Get on with it. Know how it ends. We all know if you're a Christian, yes, we all know CJ. how this ends. Um, <laughs> yes, with the rapture, with you being naked in the sky. Yeah, we get it. What the fuck does that have to do with the invasion of Ukraine and in, in, and trying to get infrastructure bills passed? It's just which side are you going to be on? And it's going to be very easy to get lost and to sw and get swept up into things. Sure. So let me give you a couple of things yeah. that we should be doing. Okay. First of all, pray. Yeah. First of you all. You should be praying. Yes. Great. Okay. Thanks. Thanks very much. Pray. Now, do I pray for the something or do I pay pray as I'm running from the something? Jesus fucking Christ. If I look back, it's going to catch me. What kind, of, what kind of praying should I be doing? And reading your Bible every day and be on your knees asking for guidance and listen and obey that still small voice that you hear yes and by still small voice it, he means uh his voice he wants you to keep your ear your headphones on while you're kneeling and praying listening to glenn back tell you what to do that there's nothing more important than that and by the way is that one thing or four things of the eight because you promised eight ways you can prepare. Eight ways you can prepare for the possible Russia-Ukraine outcomes, which apparently involve the rapture now. Um, <laughs> get into groups uh, and neighborhoods that think alike. Mm. Um, <laughs> yes, yes, find a cul-de-sac. Get into groups and neighborhoods that think alike. What? Go door to door. Hi. Hi. Do you listen to Glenn Beck's show? Because I clump. I go to the next cul-de-sac. Hi. Do you ever listen to Glenn Beck? Oh, you do. Can I come in? Clunk. Shit. All right. <laughs> 
find a, a group of friends that maybe will join you on this this path um, and you can help each other. We are going to need each other if we're going to. Mm, we're gonna. You bet we're gonna need each other. Like like dough. Just get together. Get a. Get into group sex. Find a key party. Show up in your underwear at a neighbor's house with your car keys and just drop them in a bowl. Uh, and uh, anybody who finds your car goes and, and then get on your knees. And <laughs> Five. If you yes, become become the middle person in a human centipede. Try to. You are all alone. Uh, move. Don't be the only person that. Yes, if you if you live alone, move. <laughs> what? Move in with Glenn Beck. <laughs> this, is, this is. Oh God. <laughs> is in your area and you're feeling alone. Get out. Uh -huh. Find like-minded people. Um, yeah, go to a go to a rodeo with no pants on. <laughs> Where get out and find other people. Go to Walmart and stand around in the blue shirt aisle and ask, uh, uh, "Are you my mother?" <laughs> the seasons have changed. When you're prepared, do you see the seasons changing? Hello, I hello, hello. Do you feel like the seasons are? Can I come in? Jesus Christ. Don't, don't, if you're alone and you feel lonely, don't go door to door asking people if the season is changing and if they can feel it and if you'd like to pray together. Someone will shoot you. It's not safe, especially if you live anywhere near Glenn Beck's house, because if you go to his door and ask him these things, he will not accept you in and go, oh, I'm glad someone listened. He'll go, he'll call the fucking police after his private security escorts you to the edge of the property. Think about the community as a whole. I have a small town in Idaho. I, I, oh, believe me, Glenn, I think of your community as a whole. Well, I'm glad we're sprechen the same lingity. Oh, that I just love. And I moved there because it's a small town. And and they're all... Right. And, and, and big towns and big cities have a lot of people in them that might not like you. Farmers and farmers know that they're going to have to take care of each other. And right now we are doing things as. Yes, that's Ed Gein uh, had a farm. Um, like we're building a smoker um, because we're. For the end times, because that's what you do. You know, when the world's coming to an end, one of the eight ways Glenn Beck wants you to deal with uh, the pre-rapture times, build a smoker. By the way. I didn't have a chance to do this video, son of a bitch, if I, he's building a smoker for, oh, I, I think it was, hold on, um, nope, I turned on my own show, hold on, quit, nope, there you go, um, I, I, cause CSL, I think, gave me this clip, um, about, uh, where is it, Th this was a couple of days ago. Uh, shit. I'm gonna find it. do 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 Glenn Beck. Ah, there it is. Jesus Christ. This um, Pat, I don't friggin' know. dude. So, he's building a smoker. For smoking meat. He wants to smoke his meat. Uh, and... This is a video. I didn't have time to do this the other day because it was too much shit already. This is a, a video from the other day. By the way, three of the healthiest guys. It, I, it looks like they're all on the Steve Bannon diet plan. This looks like a before, middle, and after picture. This is horrifying. Huge costs for farmers mean huge meat prices for you. He was talking about... Farmers today are struggling. The face cost increase in nearly like an 18% increase on fertilizer, 30% increase on seeds, labor costs are up 45%. And unfortunately, those prices affect you, especially specifically when you're at the grocery store trying to buy meat. What a bunch of self-involved bullshit. Good lord.
So I'm trying to build a smoker, and meat is, like, so expensive right now. I don't even know. And, like, I was like, you know, if you're trying to, like, we were always going to barbecue for the rapture. And I, um, right. Jesus Christ. We know if there's a shortage of meat, uh, and let Never had that problem, Glenn. Tell me about it. Say there's a shortage of power, uh, and power keeps going in and out. <laughs> yes, I've also never had that problem. I have never had a problem with a shortage of power or meat. Um, but I take, I'll, uh, Glenn, I'll take your word for it. <laughs> We're, there's going to be a shortage um, that we, we won't be able to deal with. So let's... Never had a shortage, especially one that I wasn't able to deal with learn how to smoke meat so we can <laughs> shit sorry I'm sorry <laughs> sorry we're we're at the edge of the rapture you got to take the laughs where you can get them fucking hell <laughs> keeps going in and out we're there's going to be a shortage um that we we yeah. won't be able to deal with so let's go learn how to smoke meat so we can yeah. smoke some beef and <laughs> well, uh, <laughs> sorry. Sorry. I'm sorry, Leslie. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> Some beef if it gets to that point. I can't. I can't. <laughs> you have to understand the concept of this. Because this this asshole is talking to you about what he believes is the end like the end of the world. This is his like Nuclear war might be coming. Now I can't. Now I'm caught in nuclear war coming. Now I'm in. <laughs> um, you know, we didn't have a warning in 1929, really. It wasn't. It was. Asshole, you weren't alive in 1929. By the way, you need to learn how to smoke beef. Because the Great Depression is coming. That's what he's talking the about. Roaring twenties, and then maybe a couple of years into it, or a couple of years. Yeah, well, believe me, they believe me. In the twenties, they knew how to smoke some meat. Let me tell you. For nineteen twenty nine, some signs started to appear, but it was a pretty uh -huh. fast crash. We've had almost two decades to prepare, so there's no excuse here. Almost two decades. Since what? <laughs> We've had almost two decades since 2003. We have the warnings. You're either listening to them or you're not. And if you're not... Well, I'm not... I'm running... Are you running toward... Am I, now, the, when I get these warnings, am I supposed to run towards the thing or away from the thing or just check and see when the leaves fall if it's a season change or if I... Man, there are less stressful shows to listen to, honestly. <laughs> honestly. Dude, this is not stressful. This is fucking hilarious. And I have no stress watching this. I don't know. You, you're not even making enough sense to stress me out. <laughs> um, uh, yes. It, 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 this is beef grills. How to survive in your own garage. Hey, 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 Glenn, little tip. I'm no expert on smoking meat. I'll defer to the experts on this, but I'm guessing don't put the smoker in your garage with the door closed. That would be my guess. Prepare now. Uh, and here's a couple. Yes, prepare now by praying and making a smoker. You can do. At this point, I would make sure that I had a week's worth of cash on hand. Why? Yes. Why? Because cash won't be worth anything. A week. And by the way, what's a week's worth? Because uh, honest to God, Glenn, um, a week's worth of cash for most of us is way less than a week's worth of cash for you. You rich, privileged asshole. Dude is a multi, multi millionaire. He's got suitcases of cash on his property. There's no fucking way he doesn't. Because if I, if I were uh, Vladimir uh, yeah, Putin I, uh, and... Uh, <laughs> 
if you were Vladimir Putin, we wouldn't have these problems because someone in your in your inner circle would have smoked your meat a long time ago. He started getting hit financially. I would unleash my team of hackers and I would shut down oil pipelines. I would shut down um, uh, the the access to our yeah, banks. Uh, I would I would disrupt yeah, yeah. through. I would uh, I would. Uh, uh, yeah. Yeah. Hacking as much as I can. He remember he said. Right. I'm sure he's going to try. You, you do realize, though, we're not going to panic because we have a functioning government and he's not directly attacking us. And by the way, uh, I don't, I don't, um, Glenn, I, I, uh, is this advice for, um, Putin or about Putin? Um, cause I, let's see, I think I saw something about this. Um, I know I put it in here. Uh, Let's see. I had a little picture up earlier. Da, 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 da. Give me a second. Oh, I'll find it. Um, <laughs> Hold on. Uh, I'll just do this. Uh, Russian um, uh, websites down metal <clears throat> um just in anonymous is taking down the website of the russian propaganda station rt news um russian government websites go down amid invasion of ukraine um Key Ukrainian government websites are down following a series of cyber attacks. Use officials warn of a hack could accompany Russian military action. They'd already told about that. Um, Russian Defense Ministry website has been down all day, returning an error 418. Um, uh, error 418 is one of the best ones because it means mil.ru is now a teapot. Um, anonymous reportedly brought down uh, RT. Um, State-sponsored Russian RT there is taken down. Okay, that's their site. Uh Russian government websites go down after country invades Ukraine. This is uh, data century. Um, Russian government, there you go, after country invades Ukraine, ta da Including the main Kremlin.ru and uh, Duma.gov.ru sites are experiencing intermittent outages. Um, so, yeah, if you were, if you were Vladimir Putin, it's weird that you wouldn't go, you know, if I was Joe Biden, I would use clandestine forces that we have to... Uh, you know, um, maybe shut down some of their sites. So if I was, um, if I was a Russian, I would take out about a week's worth of cash. Um, um, and uh, how much? Let's see. Um, the let's see. Um, hold on. Let's see. <clears throat> if I was, you know. If I was, uh, maybe tell the Russians to take some money out of their accounts, but that, oh shit. Well, gosh, golly, Glenn, maybe you should have given him this smoker advice a week ago. Hmm. Now if the Russians take out a week worth, a week's worth of ca cash, that's like down 30%. They got to take out what used to be like three months worth of cash for a week. Huh. Yeah. As you do. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Thanks, Marie. And uh, Craig, thank you. Don't forget, Sand Glenn's got to need to pound it. Uh, yeah, going to need to pound it. This is true. Um, HD Breakout, thank you. In support of your middle school humor weakness. Thank you so much. Um I, I, I've yet to drop trowel on the show, but if anybody could drive me to it, it's Glenn's beef smoking activity. World War III will be fought with ones and zeros. I don't know how prepared we are for that, but he's very prepared for that. So Yeah, he's it, dude, he's totally prepared for that. You know, he's, uh, th this is, uh, you know, I don't know how prepared we are, but um, he, huh. Maybe not. Maybe. No, it couldn't. This didn't. I don't know how prepared we are for this, but he's definitely, the, uh, obviously, this is, they're prepared 
for this, I mean, I don't know, they're like against hacking and their mo- like an, a, a week's worth of money to be taken out. Right, Glenn? They're, I don't know how. Oh, shit. I would hoard money. I would get some Jim Baker, uh, you know, one of those big uh, Home Depot tubs of pancake batter that he sells. We should be. This isn't an attack against just the government. This is an attack on us. Uh, make the people oh. as... All right, so if uh, if Glenn was Vladimir Putin, he would consider this an attack on the United States, not just an attack on Ukraine and the people there. And therefore, uh, Glenn Beck would uh, say the missiles are away, hallelujah. ...durable as possible. So we could see, in very short order, banking uh, holidays. It would be rational. If somebody is attacking our, our financial systems... Yeah, we'll declare it a national holiday. That's what you do when someone's attacking your banks is you you uh, get, uh, put decorations. What decorations do we put out for bank holidays? I forget. And the hacking uh, holidays. they got a shut. We get everybody's everybody's got their digital, their virtual meta tree that they hang ones and zeros down on. for a while. And it would cause great instability. Do you have enough money just to be able to buy the things that you would need to buy? So life. Do you have enough stability to keep your fucking camera from shaking, Glenn? That's that's what I want to know. What's Do you have enough money just to be able to buy the things that you would need to buy so life is okay during Sorry, I'm just I'm just trying to watch this. Do you have enough money to buy the things so that life would be okay? Life would be a dream. Banking holiday. Um, You might want to have more uh, than that. Uh, Fill your gas tanks. Fill your gas tanks, plural. You know, who doesn't have a giant tank of gas on their property, you know? And keep them, keep extra gas in gas tanks. There will be... Yes, always put more gas in the gas tank than it can hold. That's, you know, for safety's sake. And if one of your cars explodes, run towards the something, not farther away. Keep, Keep them tapped up so meat. if you needed to go someplace, you can Tap. go. T- call you- Yes, because case, when you got to go, you got to go. If your meat tells you you got to go, it's time Oil to go. heating company. Uh, and tap uh-huh. your tank off if you can. Gas uh, for heat and cooking. Get those tanks filled now. It'll be- Yes, yeah, yeah, because we all live in the middle of nowhere in a fucking cult compound we've built on right-wing bullshit money. You know, you guys can relate, right? You know that giant kerosene tank you have on your fucking property full of heating oil or whatnot? Yeah, uh, fuck, what? Yeah. Cheaper now uh, than uh, later, but also Uh, uh, you want to make sure if there is any disruption, you're not going into it with half a tank. Um, Never, never go into a disruption with half a tank. Not when you can have a meat shortage like Glenn Beck. If you fill your pantry. And by the way, fill your smoker with meat. (laughs) Glenn, get over here. Fill me up. God damn it, Glenn. I'm tired of waiting all day. I don't want to hear any bullshit about shortages. (sighs) Fill your smoker with meat. Thanks. (laughs) You will thank me in a year if you go out and buy. (laughs) You will thank me in a year if you go out and buy food right now that will spoil in three months. Food today. You will thank me in a year because in. (laughs) You're like, my God, I, you know what? I'd forgotten we'd had these beans. I've been, I'm, I'm binge watching season two of Reacher and I didn't want to leave in the middle of it. So luckily I had all this fucking Glenn Beck smoked meat. (laughs) This is, this is prepper TV. (laughs) Shit. I'm losing my mind. (laughs) <laughs> stock up on beans so if they if your house is attacked you can gas them out oh fucking hell Action <laughs> alone is going to go through the roof it will 
Um, if you wait, sorry, I'm, I missed what, what's sorry. What's going through the roof? You will thank me in a year because inflation uh-huh. alone is going to go through the roof. It okay. By the way, uh, mark that for a year from now. Okay. What's the? Uh, let's check the date, everybody. It is uh, my my time. It is currently five fifty on uh, February twenty fourth, twenty twenty two. We'll check back February twenty fourth, twenty twenty three, uh, when inflation in a year has gone through the roof, and you are eating beans that he told you to buy a year ago. All right, here we go. (laughs) Um, If you can get uh, vegetables and even can them out. Yes, can your own vegetables. Why buy canned vegetables when you can can them yourself? By the way, do not shove uh, vegetables in your can. It's not a good idea. Um, Leave that to the professionals. Um, River. Because if you if after a year if you can't reach up into your can and get them out, drop your shorts um, and bend over, Mr. Babar. You're going to be in big trouble. Yeah, you could. I would. I suggest smoking your vegetables, and then certain vegetation. If you smoke it, you'll start uh, um, sounding a lot like Glenn. Actually, season, but you can get them now. I would get them and can them. Um, they're. Go- would you? Would you? Is that what you're doing? You're smoking your meat and you're canning your own vegetables. Jesus Christ. It's harder to get the price of fertilizer and, and just having a farm. Oh, no, I'm not worried about the price of fertilizer, Glenn. You print more every day. You're a fucking fertilizer factory. Dude, this, it, like, there should be a stream of, of just cow shit coming out of the end of this thing, like a hose. Is going through the roof. Um, these things are going to be more scarce. Uh, by the way, yeah, this is him kind of remembering that Ukraine and Russia are where we get phosphates for fertilizer. That we get an, a, a, an untoward amount from these areas. Guess what? You can get it from elsewhere. We get it from those places because it's cheap. Not because it's not readily available. Good Next year. lord. Uh, um, if no you, worries, Barbara. If you... If you can, I would have a year's worth of food supply for my family. Uh, and if and, and by the way, for the record, uh, um, for the rest of us, um, that's about we need about uh, one three hundred and fifty sixth of the amount of food that Glenn, Glenn Beck has for his family. I'm just saying really had money. I would plan for others as well. We are going to. <laughs> Yes, buy buy your neighbor's prepper food. Go door to door. Hi, I'm lonely. Want to have a key party? I brought pancake batter I got from Jim Baker. Eat one another. Um, and that's why I say be in these communities because somebody's going to have something that... Yes, circle the wagons. That's Glenn's big plan. It's Donner party time. You need and they're going to have something uh, that you need and you're going to have something... Oh. Oh, believe me, neighbor. I got something you need. That they need. Um, begin to... Th- yes. No no question. You're going to need... Um, soup for my family. Yeah, People coming over with bags need. of soup. Big bags of soup. Yep, that's what we're looking forward to. <laughs> this way. Really, really important. Really, really. Watch the other hand. Um... I don't know what to do now. I don't want to have one hand down because you're not going to trust me now. Do I have to run the show with my elbows? Son of a bitch. <laughs> this is a very danger, dangerous and fragile time for freedom. Look how... F- yes, yes. If one hand is free, the other is bound and up to no good. Well, I'm sorry. Last Canada uh, called people terrorists and shut them down. Um, th- this is going to happen while we're not paying attention or for some other reasons. It Yes, yeah, either because we're not paying attention or because it's just other reasons, you know what I mean? Maybe maybe they want your pancake batter 
in your uh, giant um, Home Depot buckets and you don't want to give it to them and they're going to demand that they're going to call you a terrorist and take your baked beans. Is vital that you get involved in your local and state politics. You I, OK, pause for a second. Look, we've been laughing at this fucking clip is 12 minutes long. We're seven minutes and 43 seconds into this shit. If I ever posted anything remotely like this, I would, uh, I, th my house should be surrounded by medical professionals, um, psychiatric professionals, and police. This is fucking lunacy. This is, not only is this psychotic, it's boring and weird and rambly and stupid. Can you, do you need any more proof that this asshole has no idea how to deal with real stories in the news. Everything this asshole has dealt with his entire fucking career is concocted nonsense. Is like the you know the Great Reset and the Soros and the like the ghost the fucking fart air conspiracies that he's been chomping at in the in the air around him, um, just trying to bite farts everywhere he goes. <laughs> his whole career, and now that there's something really happening. There's some like the, the Ukraine invasion is a real thing that takes maybe a a moment of of self reflection. We're like, oh shit, maybe maybe crapping on our government this whole time, being shitty and kind of taking freedom for granted and all this stuff is kind of not a not a great way to handle things. Maybe I need to look at myself now. Now he's just got to like I'll just wander. How do I just I'll just I just got to keep. Talking, just words. I mean, he might as well be fucking. <laughs> they owe you millions. It's true. Um, he might as well be Charlie Brown's teacher at this point. Just <laughs> that's it. He has nothing to say. This is. I mean, it's this is extraordinary. Real shit is happening, and I'm. And, you know, I'm joking about some of this stuff and mostly like the internal work is because I'm sheepdogging these assholes and I won't let them get away with, you know, filling the airways with this bile, um, especially the Greg Kellys and the Newsmax crowd. But like, I'm aware that what's going on in Ukraine is a serious situation and takes some real thought. He He's incapable of it. All your state reps and tell them to stop ESG standards from being used in... Oh, for fuck's sake. Yeah. Pray, smoke some meat, hoard food, live it, if you live alone, move to an area where everyone thinks like you do, and then call your reps. Get... What? What? Your state. It is so... Oh, and yes. Sorry. And... And fill your uh, a giant tank on your property with explosive gas, just in case. And if it blows up, run towards it. <laughs> Important. Um, it, th that's th these standards are pretty much what the the Canadian government is doing to the truckers. Get your no, no, it isn't. They're cutting off foreign funds for these truckers who are, uh, you know, linking up with truckers in our country that are bringing them guns, fucko. I'm not for the shutting down of their accounts, but it ain't this. That ain't this. Eight to pass a law also against a single Fed coin. I'm going to give you a story here that... Oh, my God. Yes. All right. Is this... Num I'm losing track. Is this number seven or number eight? So we got to pray, fill a giant tank with gas after we smoke our meat after the smoker that we built and and we've got to can our vegetables in can it, I don't know why we wouldn't put them in jars but can, I need a canning machine does anybody have a canning machine a, a self canner is there a is there a canning device Ooh, I can get river um for some place to put my vegetables and then uh fuck what was the oh yes call my reps move and now stop the fed from p printing a trillion dollar coin i can't believe we missed um oh i c i can believe you missed it i can't believe you didn't shoehorn more shit into this uh, in june 2021 the
He's going to he's going to a story from seven months ago, eight months ago. After all that. Of England, that's their federal. Re Did, oh, OK, OK, I'm convinced Stu and everybody else at the studio left. And they just left the shit on and just. Left, they just went. They, they just went away, like, let him talk. Who cares? And they forgot to turn off the live stream. I've done it. Uh, it's happened. Wow, 1,200 people are uh, in the, just in the chat. That's not the people who are watching. We have thousands more than that. Don't forget to like and subscribe, by the way. I keep forgetting. Thanks for the reminder to reset. You're watching House Barks Mega Worldwide. Um, there's no show like it, really. For better or worse, here I am. You're welcome. The Bank of England has called on ministers to decide whether a central bank digital currency should be programmable, ultimately giving the issuer control over how it is spent by the recipient. Tom Mutton, the director of Bank of England. Well, then it's not then it's not a currency. And who cares what the fuck England wants to do? They're a fucking monarchy, dumb dumb. Why? Why? Is what's going on in the UK or Canada indicative of American freedom? Why, why is Biden on the hook for promises that Bernie made and Elizabeth Warren made on the left? And on the right, he's responsible for choices that, that Canada and UK are making. What the fuck? Stick to what he's doing. What is he doing? The problem is, when you really line it up, you either agree with what he's doing... Or you don't have the balls to suggest your alternative because you know you'd be pilloried because it's fucking lunacy. During a conference on Monday that programming would become a key feature of any future bank digital currency in which the money so, could be... Pro and that would be a factor on whether anybody used the British digital currency or not. And to release only when something happened. You can introduce pro programmability. It happens to be one of the participants in a transaction. It puts a restriction on the use of that money. There could be some... Yeah, yeah, it's, it, it's almost like they want a digital currency, but they don't want you to be able to use it to for child trafficking, drugs, and international arms sales. Now, Glenn knows that that I mean those are three big money makers. Why would you even have a digital uh currency if you can't use it to sell children into slavery um in exchange for guns that you use to kill your com your competition in a dr giant international drug trade. I mean what's the point? Socially beneficial outcomes from that, preventing activities which are seen. By the way, uh, somebody, Glenn has had too much caffeine. I know it doesn't seem like that, but he certainly has because he keeps kicking his fucking desk or something. To be Look socially harmful in some way. It's a, it, anybody who watched the new Reacher series uh, and the, the, um, Finley, the um, the detective on the show, is trying to quit smoking, and you can tell because his knee starts moving when he was nervous, and it makes the glass on the table. Yeah, that's where I got it from. There you go. This is what they were talking about two either. years ago. If you don't think that digital currency is coming, you're mistaken. It is right around. D dude, we already we already loan money and like the Federal Reserve doesn't print cash they they create digital reserves for banks to lend out and then those banks lend it out and pay interest back to the fed on that money created and that money goes into the federal coffers the american taxpayer earns that interest and that interest is only there as a protection against the money lost and not returned or lost and and uh and you know through bad loans or what have you this is so oh good lord he's smoking his meat is that what's making the desk move the corner and it could be something Thanks, like what could be coming in response to uh putin so smoke it yeah it could be something coming uh when you smoke your meat
<laughs> what is happening? What are we watching? What the, what the fuck is going on in this clip? <laughs> I, I I'm I'm at a loss. This is mind-bogglingly stupid. <laughs> I, chat, I am so happy you are here to see this clip with me because if I tried to tell people I watched this, I I swear to God, they wouldn't believe me. I'm not going to ditch him, Bob. We're almost done. This is hilarious. And our um, uh, cutting uh, him uh, off on the banks. Thanks. Uh, and the he banks, will yeah. re respond, the, I believe, in sure. ones and zeros, it and won. then the government yeah. will have its new virus. It It'll be thing. a computer virus, and, and they'll have to protect us and shut things down. And then, um, is, is that is that how it's going to work? We're just basically he's the so uh, Putin's going to be the new digital COVID, and we're all going to have to wear masks when we sign on. We have to use a VPN to check our balance. Get your kids out of school if you can, but local schools, if you are if you have to have the local school, make sure you know all about it. Again, if you're the lone... Yeah, if you have to have your kids in a local school, make sure you know all about it. Yeah, gone are the days when you have a set it and forget it kind of education for your kid, where you don't have to ask them all those stupid fucking questions about how their day went or what homework they have and stuff like that. Like that, you can't do that anymore. That that was those were the days, right, Glenn? Place move now. If you are, I, I'm sorry, sorry, sorry. What? What? When do I have to move? I, it's hard to keep track of this shit. When? And if you're the lone voice, move now. If yes, if you're if you're a weird loner um, in your neighborhood, move. I would agree. If if you're the only person yelling weird bullshit at your in your area. Just move. move. Move to Glenn Beck's town, wherever the fuck that is. He's ringing the dinner bell. All you lone, crazy, uh, disenfranchised sociopaths, you know, future BTKs of the world. Glenn Beck wants you to move into his neighborhood so you won't feel alone. If you are joining the truckers here in America... I'm not... Yeah, I'm... Yeah, if you're yeah, if you're one of the two dozen trucks in a country of 340 million people that are going to drive to DC to bitch about mask mandates that don't exist anymore, sure you are not following a leader, make sure you're following God and the peace and Yes, yes, don't don't follow the other trucks. Get out of your truck, pray and ask God what direction you should go in. And if weirdly he doesn't, it, God says, uh, go right. And you're like, but there's no road there. That's a river. Don't ask questions. Listen to that still small voice and drive your truck into a river. Drive towards the something, even if that something is a river. What the fuck? <laughs> Actions of Christ. Get the Martin Luther King Pledge of Nonviolence and get everyone in that group to sign it. If they will... Yes, get all the truckers to sign on to the words of Martin Luther King Jr. And then drive to Memphis and apologize for being an asshole. Sign it. You may be in the wrong group. Um, between... <laughs> if they won't... If they won't... Uh, if any of the two dozen truckers in this fat fest headed for D.C., won't sign this magic pledge that Glenn Beck told you to have them sign for nonviolence, then get in another group. And also, uh, call Trudeau and apologize. Oh my God, I almost was in a truck convoy full of people who actually do plan on being violent. Feel crazies who want to burn the entire thing down through war or chaos. Plants mm -hmm. from the left who are Antifa. And the fact that media, the Capitol Police, and the FBI... Hang on. What the fuck is he reading from? This part's written down? Look, he's reading from a list of shit. And is this number eight of the eight ways you can prepare for possible Russia-Ukraine outcome? Maybe in the wrong group. 
um, between real crazies who want to burn right the entire here. thing down through war or chaos, plant real, real, real crazies. But enough about Mike Lindell from the left who are Antifa and the fact mm. that media, the Capitol Police and the FBI actively in one way or another want to define us as terrorists. Uh, um, no, no one's defining you as a terrorist, Glenn. Um, terrorists arguably have sort of a coherent plan, even if it's crazy and awful and evil. It, I guess, makes sense in the way they articulate it. It's, you know, or, or, or in fact, they wouldn't be terrorists because it would just be violence. It would be political violence. The political statement has to make some sort of, you have to have a point for it to be terrorism. Otherwise, it's just murder, I suppose. Shit. Very, Thanks, very, very careful. Look how very. fast it happened very. in Canada. Yeah. Remember, chaos. It, it didn't happen fast at all. These assholes were blocking streets for months. Is from the adversary. It is what I believe Putin is creating now. I think he's doing it intentionally, but I could be wrong. That's only a guess. Yeah. You, you think he's creating this situation intentionally? You think he's doing this on purpose? It wasn't, he didn't like knock his coffee across the thing and, and it, it made one of these auto buttons like that said attack fits and he's like, oh shit, what am I supposed to do now, man? We are not asking for chaos. We are asking for a return to order, the constitutional order. That is really an important difference. If we can just keep our heads about um, what? We want a constitutional order, you know, where you only live in neighborhoods with people that completely agree with you. The constitutional order where if, uh, if you're the lone voice in a group of people at a school board meeting, maybe don't check in that you might be full of shit. Just assume everyone else is wrong because the more alone you are in your opinion, clearly the more sane you are. Because that's how sanity works. I mean, if the whole world doesn't think you're Napoleon Bonaparte, and you do, clearly, you are. So please, go go find a long coat, stick your hand in it, and off you go. Uh, and, uh, 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 and not freak uh, out if we and, can have uh, faith that we have God guiding us, and if we live righteous lives... If we are people of merit, as that, that, that's a lot of ifs, fucko. So far, you're uh, you're swinging a miss. It's two strikes so far. George Washington said uh, he will see us through. I expect miracles to be seen in your time, in your life. You mm -hmm. will see clear hand of God miracles if you haven't already. Uh yes, but watch the other hand. Uh, especially while you're filling your kerosene tank with smoked meat. <laughs> Billy Graham was right when he said, God's doing stuff Jesus with people Christ. all over the Fucking world. Fucking hell, Billy. And uh, one of these days, he's going to turn on one the lights and it'll be a surprise party for Satan. One of these days, everything that I want's going to be mine. And if it won't, it'll be all right as long as there's sunshine and a big old baru. And you will see that the solution could only have come from God because it's all of these individual people standing up. Yes. Yeah. I'll tell you what. If ever I'm in a problem situation and magically that person is struck by lightning and I didn't have to deal with it at all, I'm, I'm with you. Anything short of that? I'm going to uh, keep faith in a disinterested God that has put me here to make my own fucking decisions so that I can grow morally instead of having a big parent in the sky that spanks the bad man whenever he gives me too much trouble like I'm a fucking toddler for my entire existence. Because not only is that not what faith is about, it's also not what a, a deep spiritual being would want for its offspring. Why the fuck would God want you to be like, okay, if you are all my children and I expect you to stay that way. Like, God's one of these assholes that are like, I wish my cats could stay kittens. Shut the fuck up. I was talking to Stu yesterday um, about people actually 
having dreams Smoking or meat. hearing from God. I think that is a growing thing. Um, don't. Yeah, and it 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 it's an incre- it'll increase, especially the more you. Um, if you're a solo crazy person and you start finding other solo crazy people who think they're hearing the voice of God telling them what to do. He spoke directly to me. Fuck off. You're not special. Dismiss those promptings. Don't dismiss them. I y- Yes. Dismiss those fucking promptings. If you hear a spoken voice of God in your head, you're not hearing the voice of God. You're hearing either your own ego or you're a lunatic. That, Jesus Christ. Oh my God, what was that? 12 minutes and 30 seconds of absolute horseshit. Yes, it's a growing thing. It's a brain tumor, right? Stewed meats. Uh, they're the best, man. Holy God, was that fucked up. And again, this, and thanks for watching, by the way. This is how, this is how Sparks Mega Worldwide. Um, on Thursdays, I'm on an hour later because I have family FaceTime where uh, the kid and the grandparents and everybody gets together and kind of chit chats. And it's, uh, it, you know, it's a lovely thing. And, and uh, that we've always had it set on Thursdays and I'm, I'm not willing to, it, as important as this show is to me, and it increasingly is, uh, I'm not going to punt that entire time for the entire family uh, around this schedule and make everybody move. It's, um, and I appreciate you guys understanding the Thursday shift in time. Um, and uh, like and subscribe. Don't forget to uh, subscribe on Twitch, twitch.tv slash if you can, if uh, you can afford to. If you got Amazon Prime, it won't cost you a dime. If you want to gift a sub, that's wonderful. Um, obviously, during my time off, we lost about 80 subs because that's what happens. And a lot of the people I'm competing with on these platforms uh, have tens of thousands of subs. Now, they've been around for a lot longer, and they also stream full-time nine hours a day, and, and their jibber-jabber is kind of bullshit, and they will also put their chat on the screen all the time, and uh, that chat will often be filled with horrifying racial epithets, and therefore the people subscribe simply so that they can write the N-word on the screen multiple times, and I'm not willing to do that. So uh, not being able to chase that dollar is why I... Continually have to remind you guys to like and subscribe, give a thumbs up, become a member or a Patreon, support the show through uh, Venmo or any of those other sources. Thank you, Lizzie. Um, and, uh, you know, support the, yeah, pointed at Hassan, absolutely. Um, and, uh, and so it's, you know, I have certain moral and ethical limitations I put on my show that other people don't. And I'm proud of those things. And I know it slows my growth. I know it. It's it. I mean it. It's why I don't have, um, you know, clickbait thumbnails that are, you know, evil and shit, right? Um, that are you know that like oh my god, end of the world bullshit like that. I'm not gonna do it. Boy, it grows your subscribers if you do though, and I can understand because people get scared. They're like, oh shit, if I miss this, I might die. What a terrible thing to do to your viewers, especially to do it again and again. I'm not gonna do it. Like I said, I know it will slow. Yes, Hal destroys. Hal, des- yeah, Rex. That I'm not going to do those kind of thumbnails. I just, I'm not interested. If I ever do one, it'll clearly be sarcastic. Um, like Hal Rex himself, and I'll do like this, and then I'll Photoshop my own head in a headlock. Um, but I'm, it, it's too important. So uh, I have to remind you guys and ask you guys to support the show in any way you can. Thank you for the, look at that hype train coming on through on Twitch. Twitch.tv slash Hal Sparks. If you're a member or you're, you've liked and subscribed on other sites and you want to uh, give Twitch a try, uh, go over there, twitch.tv slash Hal Sparks, um, or go to flank.com and that'll take you there, F-W-A-N-Q.com. 